between Team Liquid and OG. I'm Odie Pixel here with Fog. Then out comes the Pugna, and then they say, well, we're going to switch it around. We're going to bring out the Meepo. Again, I mean, no sound. It's going to take quite a bit of damage in response this time with the Ghost of the Anchor Smash. Trying to run away with the Tango. He's going to look for the neutral creep tonight. He's not going to get it. GH. Able to get that first blood taking down no tail. And Thompson knows that he has dove as far as he can, or has he? Still looking at an opportunity to get in on GH as he'll look to cut down the trees. GH. He's gonna find the avalanche of Thompson. He persists, he continues the chase, he sees the opportunity, and he's just getting so much done. This tiny just can't stop killing people. And he's going mid again, and they're already pressuring the tower with the siege creep here, while Ana just continues to farm up top. Ana does not have, he does actually have mana for the haunt if he does use the soul ring. Another ravage in mid, Mike Charles gonna come in with a quick setup onto Jax. A mail hit from Miracle will do the job. Now they look for the body blocks on the Sem. Smash there from the Hellbear. Liquid will punish OG. And yeah, level 12 in the Paris of the Topson, who has been running around, as you expect, he will be starting yeah. to get behind the level. See if the duration of control with these roots. One more will be out, but there's the backup. No tail. He's able to set up a beautiful sleep onto the three of them. Jags and Thompson here as well. They'll look to burst him. He cannot escape for the avalanche from Thompson. He's held down. Also going to see No tail start to head over. We'll get a few wars down for the vision. And back in mid, Thompson was pushing out the wave. Weeha was ready to make the jump. Thompson. And he get himself out. The avalanche buying him time to get into the trees. The next route will miss, but that one will connect as we are. Has he got the damage? He, he sure does. We are now stunning there. The kills and again, top lane Seb. He just gets run down by this combination of the the tide and the TA. No tails disabled as they'll pick him up, toss him down. Miracle's just starting to walk around with the group, get these kills after kills. Is about to be back online. He's got to try and get it up, but we are a beautiful net into the trees. There's going to hold him back, cancel the TP. Should just still have the chance of running away with the dagger. I mean, I said that we has continued to got another room. We are. He's hitting them every single time. He's held him down. The dagger is there, but there's the E blade. We are continues to play around with Anna, and they'll drag him back. GH is there with a the follow up. A beautiful play from We And the items for Anna are continuing to roll out. Full Manta. The items for everyone else still have ground to a bit of a halt on OG. Setups there onto one of the meat posts. They're going to drop the old down, but already Miracle Miracle's on the back line. He's, He's just dead. dead. He's dead. He pulls the BKB. It doesn't matter. They're able to beat him dead. And now they look towards We Are. We Are. Limitous. 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 Still, he has enough HP to walk the for the talk. Oh, Steps in. He's straight on top of We Are. We Are's dead the one. Can they do it again? No doubt. He's got the spirit out. Backing off, we are again. He had the main Meepo up onto the safe area of the high ground. Thompson, he's not stopping though. They're holding back a little bit with the E blade. Can they get this kill? We are again. Boost off to the side, but he's left one up on the high ground. Is there any disable? There is not. He's able to jump back down, get himself Chasing. away. OG continue to chase. But these roots, these nets, they're holding OG back. Thompson in again with the blink. He needs help. We are. Is he going to get it? The stomp down onto the entire army of Meepos. Hand of God's pop. We are trying to turn. Miracle is killed on Jarek. The buyback from Miracle. They're turning it around. Liquid. No, he's yeah, he And Jarek, seven, with no doubt. They're going to try and run. Anna, he's in with a horn chasing down. We are. He can surely finish this kill off. We are so low. They're going to give it a line. Finally, Anna gets We are. Liquid back to looking to continue the cleanup. They'll chase Seb. Seb's heels will not be strong enough. Seb will fall. There's no tell. TP out in the trees gets him away. It's hard, especially Anna. This is really, I guess, the sort of the last tier you want to tackle. Miracle. Gonna head over to try and go for the bounty room. We'll actually be able to grab it, despite the three of them being here. But they'll look to make him pay. They'll lead in. BKB's popped by Miracle. Anna will continue to chase with the horn. He's following him. He's staying on top of him, making sure that any sort of escape is hard. Mike Control's gonna come in, in the back. He's looking to try and draw the attention of the rest of us. Yeah, there's the Ravage Pop, and now the turnaround comes into play. Liquid, they'll surround Anna. He dove too far. The Spectre's dead. He's got buyback, but of course, with the horn already used, there's no way for him to get back into the fight. So Anna has to sit on the sidelines and just watch as the rest of OG gets bullied heavily by Liquid. The traps are set, set surrounded. We are double kill as OG again struggling where the frustration is felt. Anna feels he has to try and make something happen with the uh -huh. horn. It doesn't go their way. And in fact, mid lane, another attempt to push out Thompson was trying to get the Kree waves away from the base, but we are, he is just everywhere on this map. That cheese gets popped. In. Oh, they actually popped the glyph. Jarex isn't able to get that one there with the blast even. He's gonna try again, but Weeha, he's here. Are you just gonna make him pay for it? Or at least try to do so, Jarex. And find him once and force to the side, the roots. 
making sure that no glimmer will save him. He gets it to Crepify off, but it doesn't matter as he takes down to the output of Weeha. Back towards mid, OG, they've got four dead. Finally, Seb's back in the game. 20 seconds until Anna returns, but obviously a longer cooldown that matters. That 30 seconds before Horde. As even with the Horde, we've seen with how far Liquid are ahead, OG no, just struggle to get any fights going in their favor as they'll dive in. Weeha, with all the stats, he's so tanky now in the Meepo, but they cannot pull him away. And 36 minutes in, Liquid will finally get themselves into the base, take that bit ranks. And they do have that Meepo ready to go. They get the toss back on Mind Control. See if they've got the damage to beat him down. No tail offering quite a bit of right clip, but Miracle is in straight away. Look at the back oh line. He's on top of the ET, and it's going to step forward for Mind Control. Horns pop. Can they get any of these kills? They're on to Miracle. Miracle BKB tries for the DPM. Okay. They have the damage set with the impetus. Takes down TN. And the chase continues. Anna, he found Mind Control. A second kill here for OG. We have the rounds. Anna, Anna needs the safety check. He's there. Healing it. The Kroper by the heal. Anna is still alive. Steps into the side. Throws out the impetus. And we are falling low. GH cannot save him. Oh we are in dead. OG, they'll hold on to the game. They may have lost their round. But they team wipe Team Liquid! There'll be a buyback from GH. There's got to be more buybacks if Liquid want to try and force OG away. Jax! More buybacks! He's already up to the high ground. They do have the Ravage still on Mind Control. Mind Control. He's looking for that option. He's stepping in. Stomp from No Tail. Ravage. He does get it out. There's no follow up though. It's a bit of a Ravage. And then a death. Mind Control. There's no follow-up! No They've gone in! They've lost two! Oh god! As Liquid, they throw bodies into the pit! But not enough! Don't get the Aegis, the Cheese, and an Aghanims for No-Tail! Aghanims for No-Tail? They're hidden so far away from Perfect everybody else. They want nothing to do with this Meepo right now. Right. It's gonna go in with the Ravage. They'll be able to get Seb first. Can they get more Anna? Still not the target they want to find. They want to try and find the easier kills for No-Tail. He's able to walk this up. But they, they just cannot do it. In every fight, the mana gets so low. Anna, he's healing up. GA, there was already, what, two two Ghost Scepters and an E Blade on OG's lineup. Anna Decrepify. Now they can have a bit more luck on committing for the kills. They'll find Thompson. He's out. They have the pickoff potential. Anytime the OG is separated with was... Miracle's build sort of coming to completion with the Bloodthorn nullify. But Thompson was just cutting bottom weight of it, looks like there. While his team was pushing top, and he just gets caught up, but he has buyback. That'll be a buyback. GH. Dies very quickly. I mean, Mind control now. Surrounding him. Mind control. Jumping back. These rainbows. They hurt. I mean, they do not They're have buyback. They do not have buyback. Neither mind control. OG. This is the last set of racks. Anna still feeling that powerful. There's the buyback from the tide. The melt bash. The foul one outside of the base. though. Weeha is trying to step out. The combo. The magical damage. Is it going to get him? It will. The so get him. Him all. No tails able to catch him before he's able to poof back. Meepo dead. He's going to have to use the buyback. Out it comes. Zana. We'll get the D ward and continue to push on taking these racks. Mind control trying to step forward, but Seb turns towards him. Seb pretty low on the mana, but he's got enough rainbows to bring Mind Control down to about 25% of his HP. And pop the BKB and Miracles looking for the back lines again. These ghost forms are annoying him. The dispel will be there on to no tail. But he's got the Thompson. Thompson's got the combo, the damage to kill him off. Mind control is in with the ravage. They're trying their best to commit on top of Seb. A gush is out. Can they even kill off the Enchilo? They've tried their best on the high ground adder. He has been nullified. The damage output. It's enough. Again, this single target from Liquid. If they get it going, they can still kill the cause of OG. Oh even God. the big old Spectre. As Liquid will hold his three buybacks they have to use. Try to go for more split push. But Liquid, they have to just run it down the mid lane, try to force these buybacks. Aegis, Cheese. Where was it? So at the moment, the Aghanims and the Refresher Shard being held by Mind Control. Is yet to consume the Aghanim's blessing. Liquid trying to force out these buybacks. Anna, he's got to buy back. The tier fours are being focused. They're not interested in Mega's Liquid. They're just interested in ending the game. Still holding on to it. The first tier fours down. Liquid, they're going to be able to get potentially another one out of this Kuro. Falling low, turn with the Penitence. He's still alive off the back of this. Finally, the buyback comes out. The Ancient is exposed. The Ancient is going down. Ravage. They're just going to keep hitting on. Liquid, they've done it. Oh my god. What an end to game one. It looked like Liquid had it in the early game. It looked like they started to throw it away. It looked like OG was on the verge of getting the win. They took everything bar one range racks from Liquid's pace. Game two of Liquid versus OG here in the best of five grand finals of the International 2019. Just about to kick off.
and just keep the nine creep set. Talk about talk to. They got the shackle set up. Mind control chasing No Tail down. Will be able to get back underneath the tower. In fact, Anna's going to turn, chase down Mind control, and they'll get first blood. OG. So it is one of the better ones to actually set up for those ganks. As mid, they really want to sandwich on Kuroki. Straight in, but Kuro is going to have to charge the turn upon the shackles. They're doing their best to keep Anna alive. Big swell buffs up, and there's the start. Connecting on a GH, they're ready to die for more. Thompson straight down behind the tower, jumping forward. Look at the GH, the stuff of the central conqueror with the helmet of the dominator. He's keeping a GH. Finally, the full wing as Thompson gets him. We are now time towards OG. They managed to take away two. They'll continue to chase. They will lose no time, but Thompson's back over. Battle is strike down. They'll surround the TA. We are surely will fall. No, they don't have detection. He's got the meld, he'll stay hidden. I'll go for Kuro instead, Miracle. Just trying to chase for more, another stun indeed from the Sensor Conqueror. And Micro making it real, but Miracle still has to be careful. The Rage has finished and Anna's Flame Guard still persists as they'll chase into the trees. Thompson's got the lockdown, Battle strikes out, Miracle will fall, OG. The three core is just running around as a unit right now for OG. <laughs> looking to kill everybody, look, look at the map right now. I mean, they're thinking about going look for at the, lanes. the lanes are all open, oh, they're just battling. Oh, he's able to chop the tree down, Mind Control. Radiance. Wait for the Lumberjack plays. Gonna stream if he can try to Ravage. Ravage does get the three of them. Seth's getting burned slower. Heals out in time. We are comes across. Hex lockdowns there for Kuro. They'll get Thompson. They quit. Can they punish OG even more for diving into this? The X12 slide of fist again. Mind control. He stands up. The flame guard. The slide of fist damage is too much for them this early on. Kuro. Kuro's off the wall. He's got the shackles. He's holding him down. Hex is out as well. Kuro. <laughs> Finishes off battle all by his own. And we are get set as well. OG, all five out of the game. As Liquid say, get out of our half of the map. Keep this battle running at them. Which is very OG-like. They just want to fight. Just have vision happen. with the rest of this water. Thompson oh set up perfect from the trees. Wukong's come on down. Boundless strike already used. It doesn't matter. He's able to jump forward. Look to chase Miracle. Miracle does get the jukes off. Now it's the movement speed with a phase boost. He'll get himself out across the trees. They'll still try and chase. Top Boundless still unavailable for six seconds. So Miracle will actually be able to escape. GH, he comes forward. He starts to have a bit of a punt. Stuns out, but Ada, he's in with a wraparound. Change around. Boundless strike back up. Slam down onto the Enigma. GH is gone. They're diving up towards. Tears, freeze, OG, they're in the base. They get my control as well. Sit still, every single tower up in the mid lane. But OG, they're taking the fight to the base. Dude, look at this. Look at this. All the lanes are open. All they want to do is battle. We as well going to get caught out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> And now they're gonna say, okay, now they're priority. They're like, all right, now we've sandwiched up to a tower. Now we can go for this one. Oh, yeah, hey, does anyone else want to take a tower? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go on then. I know that they're around. Take out the Ops Ward as well. Thompson will kill it. But there aren't those big ops, as you mentioned, straight in towards the tier two tower. Ada has no fear as he collapses immediately on top of the TA. We hard surrounded. The control that No Tail offers is too oh much, God. but We hard to withstand at the moment. Jump forward over towards Kuro. Ada just loving the pace that he can play with Thompson by his side, running down hero after hero. Yep, they've got their OGs available. OG, they have their Guardian Angels well, but seven is relatively low on mana. They stop the rush and they're like, oh, heroes have been spotted. Go for the fight. Miracle is in the mid lane. They're going to go for jump on Miracle. Instant rage and a back off. Still, they managed to sandwich them. If Liquid can get the Tide and the Enigma in, they could go for a good fight from the low ground. Kuro Miracle. is disabled. He traps up no tail in the circle wars. Miracle's the focus. Miracle will fall. They're walking over my control. Tries to get around the company car. Battle strikes out. And no time. Is embrace you get no tail stopping her at Mike's drop of the other off of the ravage for now. And Anna and Thompson, they're still good to go. Dust is out, they've got the detection prepared. We are left behind. They take a both course, they're gonna get the third as well by looks of his OG. They jump over, catch out by control, and they'll also toss back in GH as OG. They just keep killing oh, every God. single member of Liquid over and over again. Three heroes immediately collapsing on you. Anna. Anna. Got the vision here, as they'll get in with the setup. Kuro tries his luck, tries to get out, doing oh. the warning for the team. Jarrus has also found Mike Control. Anna's still diving in towards the base as We Are. He got Thompson's tree. We Are. Tries to turn with the melon here. Thompson's there with a the balance. Strike. We Are is just dying inside the base. The, the, this mobility is. It's just absurd. Ember's Bird and Monkey King, they're everywhere. This game, I think. It is entirely on GH and Mind Control to make some incredible five-man play. That's yeah. the only way right now. That is really how it feels. It and they have they have the BKB black hole, which is not counterable for Moji at least with the stun. But Moji tanky. In. Yeah. And getting into them as well, right? If they have the Wukongs down, lay down. He's gonna die if he gets that black hole off. He, he will. And now also, 
They've got a better way to heal each other and help each other. There's an Aghanims on Savage. So that Guardian Angel is going to provide that massive amount of HP regen as well as that protection from wherever he's going to be to pop it off. I don't think they're going to have the damage to do with OG at all. Miracle trying to push into Thompson, but with the eyes of the Thompson has, and the bust that he does, Salt Line's out, they're going to try and jump forward, the Wukong's come on, it's now Mike Control off the Ravage, the GA's already out, they've got the black hole, GH falls though, as he's stuck inside the Wukong, three dead on Liquid, OG just beating them down, one by one, the buybacks will come out from both Kuro and Miracle, but both GH and Mind Control are gone without their ultimates and without buybacks, the game continues to worsen for Liquid as OG past the racks on top of Miracle, tossing him back into the balance. Triple kill for Thompson. Wow. As OG, this entire game has been a high reel for them. We are, you get something. It's a lot of money, of course, Anna. So that's a little bit of glory for Liquid. Oh, Jarek, it will go down, maybe. No, the heal they give the red bait to Thompson. Extra bit of salt in the wounds there already trying to pull the wave away they from mid it. but they're chasing so we are and it's on top. Jerex is over there's the e-blade combo coming out a GA to celebrate as the fight continues down bottom making sure that no doubt doesn't go down the two of them soul bound together and is in with the change Bradley strikes down on a miracle miracle cannot get out of this one alive he's dead without buyback my control as well the chase never ends from OG 31,000 gold lead so many different items picked up. They're cleaning up the last racks. A Daggett even picked up no tail. He's popped the BKP. He's going to go for the black hole on the two of them. This is the pulse down. In fact, gets Hannah as well with the wraparound. But they just don't take any damage at all. GG is called. The suffering will finally come to an end for Liquid in this game too. As OG take the victory. One to one now in this best of five grand finals. Game three ready to go between OG and Liquid. Series stands one to one at the moment. We'll be able to do so. Mind control, of course, getting good farm. Up breaks, top. Breaks the out with the gush there. Mid lane though, we are. It's been caught out by a bit of a move from Jarex. He's trying to switch the mango in to go for a mango refraction play, but that six seconds far too long. Get out. He wants someone to rotate because he has the Omni. It's feeling that there could be a chance to find some action mid lane. Decrepit five setups there, Jax is prepared with the dust. We hide, cannot hide in the shadows. They see him every time and the tower goes down. And even it's in. Top lane mind control getting bashed up by Anna and no tail. Oh my god. Another time walk available in a second. Seb running himself away from Kura again into the trees. Gets the heal up, but the Omni slash from Miracle. Will secure the kill down bottom. At the same time up top they find. Level four tide. And they're gonna live train him down. Slows there with a stroke of fate. We'll be able to crack his shell up, but Jax with. Pixel perfect body blocking there. Well, I say that. Miracle's gonna come up with a blade through. They punish Jarex for it. They do lose mind control. This is getting pretty out of control already. A 5k advantage. They're finding Miracle. Thompson is gonna get stunned up. And the Miracle has got the Blade Fury and the Omni Slice to play around with. Soulbind's gonna lock the two of them down together as No Tail's looking to turn, moves in with the, the Inkling silence. silence. The Dark oh! Ray dead. The Ravage comes out, but they've already lost the two of them. They'll get No Tail in response. But now OG, they can turn and collapse onto Mind Control, surrounding the tide. Jarex and Thompson, Seb, they're not gonna stop chasing this. A trap slow will come out, it doesn't matter. Thompson, another decrepified blast, secures him the triple kill. He's gone oh, for another. Oh, they're not done yet, OG, GH. He's got the stolen ink swell, they'll keep their distance. Jarex closes the gap, GH is enchanted, taken out, ultra kill for Thompson. 11 minutes in, there is nothing that can stop this man. The top, the Thompson Pugna was always going to be left in. They've got to kill him. They've got to do something about it. They'll surround him. They've got the blade through. They have got the stun. Thompson falling low. Put the stick charge. Tries to stab with the light trap. They kill him off. Big kill here for Liquid. Can they get more? If he wants to pop the Chrono for this, he will. There's three heroes. He's thinking about it. The shrine has been used. They're healing up. And they're trying to find the perfect angle. No tells coming in with the wrap around. Mike controls back in. No ravage though. Toss over. Keeping them bunched together. Anna. He's still trying to, to see if he can find that perfect opportunity. He may not even need it. The Phantom Embrace It's on Mind Control. The output of the damage for Seb's impetus is too much for Mind Control to withstand. And miracle. There's the catch. He'll get Miracle separated. He's shot down. He's silent stuff. He did get the Blade Fury off, but the Soul Mind Control with the impetus is far too much for him to deal with. As OG. Oh my god, they keep looking for more. They're just giving us the repeat of game two. In the same exact area, at the same exact time. Everybody on the side of OG is farming perfectly fine, and they have Midas's. I mean, Miracle, he walks into lane. 
He oh, nearly died immediately to the combo. Jarek, Two to control on Thompson. Again, the Shredder with a four line out large, but Jarek takes him out. Mind control, causes the ravage. Have they got the damage to finish these two off? Thompson's don't. still alive. He's able to back off, and now again, Indian the rest Indian. of OG's turns up. Sense in the neighborhood. Toss over for Jarek. Kuro and GH being focused. The Inkswell and Jarek. Does it hit Kuro? Doesn't matter. No tail. Has the stroke of fate, and it's enough alone. Jarek's just waiting there in position. They even have an ops. They even put down a sentry to take out Liquid's vision, too. Liquid has no light, no vision of these back lines now. They're taking the racks. Absolutely perfect. 18 minutes in. My god. This is unbelievable. Two games in a row. But OG is just giving us the showcase of their lifetime. It's been like six or seven minutes since Liquid has been able to even find a kill. It's been GH just out of. GH has been the one getting them, but it's not even these big ones because, like we said, they can't even get aggressive onto the map at all. As Seb just continues to stand in the base, he's a bit far forward here. Look at the multicast, and it's going to come in with a backup. They to grab a fight, keeping Seb safe. They'll pop the ravage. They're trying to get on top of at least someone. They'll find No Tail and are surrounded. He still has the crown against the three of them. Tops is able to turn with the life drain. Mind control toss back into the crowd, making it a beautiful format. Double kill for Thompson. He'll start to run them down one by one, pushing Liquid back towards the fountain. They've got a run of ATOS on Seb now as well. Mind control, find the jump with the Ravage. We has it as well, but they have the damage guy. Time they do. They kill on Thompson. It's a lot of money going the way of Kuroki, though. Can they get more out of this army slash bouncing around Jarek? A buyback comes out for Thompson. He wants to rejoin the fight. As OG turns, they'll get one. Chrono. There's the setup again. Anna with a three man Chrono catches them all. Double kill for Anna. The top up to Sable. Taking down Miracle. The Phantom embraces on Kuro. They'll chase him up to the base. Triple kill for Anna. Two buybacks to come out from Liquid. But no Tide or Juggernaut available to offer their services for this defense. And they've already used everything. The Tide Hunter Ravage, uh, Jug Omni. I mean, they, they got Thompson. They but got that, him, but he's back. That was it. They'll get another jump in Mind Control, trying to commit. Jared just turns with the Tossed Avalanche combo. Mind Control out of the game once more. We are trying to jump in, find at least Thompson, but he's not going to get it. OG surround him, outnumber them, a toss up. Back to the grave. GH is dead. GG is called cool. OG takes game three. And dare I say it's a, even in a more devastating fashion than game two. It didn't look like it could get any worse for Liquid after that second game, but I think it just did. The Bristle gyro lane is actually decent for the Bristle. Okay. So it's not going to be a Templar assassin, but we'll go to another Weehawk yeah. classic. It will be the Wind Ranger. We'll see that pressure amped up even more. Jax is going to come down. Help turn this duo into a trial lane from OG as Kuro pops the fire fire, won't save him. Miss call from No Tail, gets the kill. Now Anna's gonna be the focus. Miracle and GH trying to get on top of him, but a quick body block from No Tail, and it seems to be the focus for Liquid. They've left Miracle alone. They're trying to collapse in onto Thompson. Thompson, he gets the cooldown off, but the Hellbear smashes in with the clap. Liquid making these moves around Kuro and his army. The change. GH and Kuroki, they're looking towards Seb. Gonna bring in Weeha as well. Weeha. Focus fire, have they got the control? There's the rolling with the stun. Shackle shot follow up for We Are, along with the power shot, will do it. Oh, and you gotta be careful as well. Anna, he's jungling in the area, so he can just easily tether. Pop. I don't know if you guys, he did the overcharge there, I didn't get to the end of it, but he can easily tether it and even get a little bit of extra HP regen that comes into play. Looking for Jerex. Jerex again. And then with the magnetized TPs will now start to come into play. Thompson's here, Jarek's still alive. They're trying their best to hunt him down through the trees. He'll be able to toss back the Hellbear Smasher. Rock is dropped to keep the Magnetize going. They'll get the kill on Jarex. See if they can find anything in return. OG Thompson, he's on top of Kuroki. GH, we are we are joining the gang. They're surrounding Thompson with a divine favor. Bring it, we are in Liquid. They're going to be able to get both of them. Try to brawl again at the same time as last game. It's 13 minutes in, and there's nine heroes or eight heroes positioned around this area. They want to go for no tail, but he's got ulti. Miracle's gonna continue to chase this under the titular and they will get it. Seb is trying to turn, the missile is out on the Kuro. Does Seb have the burst? Not quite. Magnetizes out and Seb has to retreat. Shackle does latch Liquid. They've got the lockdown, they've got the roll forth, the kickback, they'll Got crush him. It's Liquid, they're diving again. Okay, one top. They got a bit of a flavor of how OG was playing in these last two games and they're saying we could do it too. Thompson passed the cooldown. And we know this is the timing. It's all about just waiting for Io to get not only Aghanim, but get that level 15 talent. That's what Seb. OG wants. He's diving in. Onto Kuro with the flak as well. Hand of God will not keep Jen alive today. GH. 
will not get TP'd out to actually TP's in. And then ignore and look for the more volatile kills. And he's acting as this like, super frontliner. And Bristleback is yeah. a hero that if you don't have mana, you yeah. don't have damage. So if he's just going to be burning the Bristle, I, I can see yeah. it. You know, I can see it. And he's super far. And look how tanky he is. 2,000 HP on the gyro. There's going to be an MKB finish now for Weeha. So his damage is going to be very high as Sep's getting slowed down. He's got Grease available, but he's getting burst. I mean, they're bringing him low. He's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Cooldown's dropped down by Thompson. And here we Miracle have it. Mana. Miracle. Man is gone. He's able to pop the stick, get him a fair bit of it back. And he's able to head back in, pushing OG back behind the racks. They're getting a good amount of damage onto this tier 3 tower. They quit. They push on. On Io. That spirit hero damage is there now. But Mana going to join the fray finally. There we have it. Miracle's mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's focus. He'll look for what GH is. He's trying to but he can't get out. There's no mana. GH, he's dead. And now OG, they have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change the ball. Thompson, the Rocket Bride brings Miracle down. There's the Shackle turn around. They're looking for Jarek. Jarek's backing away. Thompson focusing Miracle. Miracle's still out of mana because of this defusal. Jarek, Jarek, he's able to cover the GA is out. We are all fall though. The magic damage is there for Thompson. Miracle's trying to run. Another stick charge pop, but Jarek can shut him off. In fact, Jarek, he's ready to try and look for more potentially. There's only the ones. To go for the back line. Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. Another cooldown's there. The toss back into the combo. Jarek oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're all dead. able to get this as well. OG, they will hold. As and they're even taunting him. They toss him to the dragon. And it's back completely the other way. And it feels like... The control is just gone. Like, what, what do you, what do, you do so well. when your man is gone? What do you do? At this incredibly late moment in the tournament. And now Thompson has an Agonyms as well. So not only is his regular hits going to be proccing that. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be burning a lot of mana. And then just moving into the base now, OG. They're pushing Black. in. Flag starts to force the quit back. They'll focus Miracle. Miracle looking he's, at himself he's, out and away. The missile is out. They're trying to put the heels to save him, but Miracle's dead. He's still doing the buyback. Jarek is in with the combo. They'll bring down GH. GH has buyback. He'll buy back immediately. Weeha's going to be back up in five. Fortification is part, but OG, they're not going away. They're too healthy. They still have greens available for Seb as well this whole time. They're, they're pretty, no tail's kind of low, but once they pop those greens, everyone's going to be topped off. A tier three's going down. 22 minutes again, and in a match where it looked like Liquid had the pace oh to maybe God. bring something different, but we're back to the same place that we were in game two and game three. His team by potential, and he's pretty much the only team fighter on the side of Liquid right now. It's just not there. I know she's ready to go back. back. And again, Jackson with the wrap around the combo. Down to mind control. The cooldown's there. Liquid out to back off. Again, mind control's matter. Pretty much got he's able to pop the stick. Get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're heading towards Seb. Reels the pop. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jackson with another combo. On to We Are. We Are stand up. We Are dead. Miracle's the new focus. The miss up follow through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. Mind control out of Adam Thompson. Will it defuse the blade? Picking them apart. Roll four for GA for Seb. Cuts him down. Roll four. Double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. And Liquid have nothing. They have nothing to offer, folks. They're just giving. Look at this. They're diving fountain in TI finals. They want Karoki in the fountain as well. They're going to get him. They're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. You throw your sword all against you. You throw the sword all against you. There it is. OG on your two time TI champions. They've done it, folks. They absolutely can. Innovators, magicians. Bringing something new to the game, and when it counts the most in the grand finals, game one was shaky. We had a bit of fun. Game two, three, and four, they played their hearts out for every single minute of the matches. OG, the best team of all time, and with this, their second TI win, and not just the second TI win, but the second back to back. They do it two years in a row. There is no question that we are witnessing the best team of all time. I'm, I'm at a loss of words from the way that they played this. It was just an absolute beatdown. They just, they're just way too good at Dota. For all of our previous champions, and here in 2019, the International 2019, OG are the ones to do it first. The two-time TI champions, OG, ladies and gentlemen. What this team has shown us in this entire run, in these two years, and now in the grand finals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's OG!